Hi everyone, welcome to Project 21, this is DG57.com saluting you. In this video we are going to talk about how to create a Project Capex Estimator. This Capex Estimator will apply to projects related to gold mill plants. We are going to divide this topic in two parts, this presentation will be the first one, and it is all relate to fundamental calculus being exercised in an Excel spreadsheet, the second part will be converting this Excel spreadsheet into a digital estimate, a topic tackle in another video. Now, what are the fundamentals of this project CAPEX estimator? During project feasibility studies they first get the total process equipment list to then get it priced, to then translate this equipment cost into labor man hours needed for erection and installation. Then they get the right bulk materials and labor costs through construction experience. As a result, the estimated capital expenditure values from feasibility studies convey a multiple number that references the list price of the process equipment. These CAPEX estimate values are related to project direct costs only. So after advising you to follow the rule of the previous statement, here undergoes the following guidelines. 1. The estimator is a design to exercise on CAPEX estimates of gold mill plants. 2. The estimator is a design to perform with data getting from project feasibility study reports, which are of public domain, therefore will be based on CAPEX estimate values coming from engineering consultancy services. 3. The estimator is meant to be dealing with two bases of the estimating chapter, contractor labor costs and contractor labor productivity. 4. The estimator is meant to be dealing with project direct costs only. 5. The estimator is not meant to get off-site infrastructure costs like power generation and transmission line or water supply due to their nature. 6. The estimator is not meant to be dealing with underground mining case scenario which due to its nature has other kind of analysis. 7. The estimator is meant to deal with contractor indirect costs but it is not meant to be dealing with project indirect costs or owner costs or contingency cost. Now, starting working on the estimator. The figure at front illustrates the following description. First step, creation. A. Input data form. First of all create an input data form which will be meant to be filled out by user. In this form make room for the following estimator components, 1. Project data, 2. Project rates, and 3. Labor productivity adjustment. First component. Project data, this component will have the inputs, plant type, plant capacity, capex direct costs, and total direct man hours. Where plant type refers to a gold mill plant that will be configured according to process method being used to treat ores, that is, 1. CIL leaching process, carbon in leach, 2. CIP leaching process, carbon in pulp process, 3. Heap leaching process, for autoclave oxidation processing, 5. Merrill Crow processing. So make option box for these plant types. The following inputs, plant capacity, tons per day, capex direct costs, total direct man hours, and process equipment costs are provided by feasibility study reports, of which the latter will be the fundamental one on which the estimator will be underpinned. When user fill out this box then and only then the estimator will take this value to start calculations and bring about results. Next component. Project rates. Here it will be the inputs, all in labor rates and construction equipment rates. Where all in labor rates refers to the rates that have been built up to include 1. Base hourly wage, including overtime and extra hours, 2. Wage benefits, 3. Contractor indirect costs, overhead and profit. Here you will have two options. Option 1, values from feasibility studies and, option 2, values coming from your own expertise and research. I recommend the latter. In both inputs create a mandatory value range, 
a maximum and a minimum value, meaning user will choose a value neither higher nor lower than. Then establish a default value within the range for the estimator. The estimator will not allow user to use numbers out of range, if user choose to do so then estimator will not perform and pop up a warning advising the user to input a value within the range. Next component. Labor productivity factor. If the engineering involved in the project is from the northern hemisphere but the project is located in a country other than their own, they often apply what they call a location productivity factor to get the total number of man hours needed to build the project. They first calculate the man hours needed for the project as if it were going to be built in their own country, and then apply a multiplier, the location factor, to those man hours. This multiplier is based on their judgment and experience. You can choose whether you want to apply it or not this kind of judgment in your estimator. If you decide to apply it and as you are in the southern hemisphere then apply an adjustment range of 0.1 to 0.85, that is, the user will choose a number neither lower than 0.1 nor higher than 0.85. Then establish a default value for the estimator, the higher the better. The estimator will not allow user to use numbers out of range, if user choose to do so then estimator will not perform and Pop up a warning advising user to take a number within the range. Now. B. Create a CAPEX estimate results chart. Make first row on the chart to do with mill process equipment costs numbers. Then make following rows to do with construction disciplines. Doing these you also will have the first column on the chart. The second column will be the man hours calculation for each discipline. The next columns will be the cost calculation of labor, materials, construction equipment, process equipment, subcontracts, freight, taxes. The calculation of man hours and construction disciplines costs will be done based on weighting factor previously calculated in another spreadsheet, which have as starting point values given by feasibility studies relate to process equipment man hours and costs. Process equipment costs and man hours are linked and pulled from the input data form. Important note. 1. Remember that the CAPEX estimate values that this estimator will give you, has come from a project feasibility study that has been designed to operate with a particular type of plant. 2. The estimator you create has to have an option box for different gold plant types. 3. Each kind of gold plant type will result in different CAPEX estimate values. 4. So in order your estimator produce values for different gold plant types, you will have to develop an algorithm to achieve that, but do not be scared remember you are an engineer that is, you are set up to achieve it. Second step, testing. Now that you have created the estimator, the following step will be testing it. To do that, Again you have the option to use values getting from feasibility studies. Get input data values from different feasibility studies and use them as inputs in your estimator then compare your results against values that engineering consultancy firms has gotten for their projects. You can download a PDF file to get an example of a comparison, the link is given down below this video. Third step, validation. Next and finally step in your endeavor will be getting your estimator validated. How you do that? Very simple. Expose your estimator exercises to your coworkers and colleagues to get their criticism, comments and approval. Fourth step, converting Excel estimator into a digital estimator. A topic for another video. Okay, now if you are an engineer, who either was giving a thought to this topic or just now start being interested in developing a CAPEX estimator. Now you got a pretty much idea about how to create a capital expenditure estimator which could be designed either for a gold mill plant or a copper concentrator plant or an LNG regasification terminal or marine facilities or others.
Now you are aware of that feasibility study reports and also trade-off studies are out there to help you in this kind of endeavor. So, I hope you all find useful this presentation. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.